Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to blend four images into one composite photo. I'll start with this beach here. Add this nice lady. Change the sky to a more interesting one. And then float a boat out on the horizon. Let's get going. I'll remove this woman from her background by using the selection brush tool located on the left side toolbar. I'll paint over her to make the selection. To make the brush size smaller for the finer details, click the left square bracket key a few times. To unselect an area, hold the Option or Alt key while painting. Now that she's selected, I'm going to click Refine from the top toolbar. With the matte option selected, I'll go over her hair a bit to see what more details I can get. Let's see how that looks. I'll select the output to a new layer and click Apply. Well, her feet don't look that great. So, I'll just use my freehand selection tool to clean that up. I'm going to use this image in another project later, so I'm going to add her to my assets. I'll click on the Windows tab from the menu bar, then scroll to Assets. Once there, I'll select a category and drag her into the panel so she's always handy. Now onto the boat. I'll remove it from its background too. There's a lot of details, but I'm not going to worry too much about them because the boat is going to be very small, so nobody will notice them. That's good enough for government work. Since I have it open, I'll add the boat to my assets as well. Okay, now for the fun part, I'll go back to my beach scene and drag the little boat onto the horizon. Let's size it so it looks like it's farther out in the distance. Okay, that looks good, but it's a bit too bright. So I'm going to go to the Adjustments button at the bottom of the Layers panel and select Brightness and Contrast. I'll drag the adjustment onto the boat layer so it only affects to boat. Then I'll play with the sliders until it looks right to me. I'll then go to the Live Filters button and apply a Gaussian Blur to the layer as well. Just a little will do. Now, let me drag the woman out of storage and add her to the scene as well. I'm going to drag her layer to the top so we can see her. And then, I'll size her so she looks about right I'll close the asset panel as I don't need it anymore. To blend her into the waves, I'm going to use the clone tool on the left toolbar. I'll start with a with a basic round and soft brush and then hold the option or alt key to select an area for affinity photo to sample. Now, I'll paint over her feet and ankles until the look completely submerged. Then, I'll lower the opacity a little bit and do the same thing over her calves so you can see a bit of her legs. Finally, I'm going to select a new brush from the Sprays and Splatters category. Ink Splatter should do nicely. Then, I'll hold the Option or Alt key and click to select another spot in the water to clone. Let's paint some foamy water spray over her lower half. I think that looks pretty darn convincing if I do say so myself. Almost done here. I don't really like the way the sky looks, so 
I'm going to change it out for another. This is super easy. I'll just paint over the sky with the selection brush tool. That was pretty good except this tiny spot. I'll click on my left square bracket key a couple times to make my brush smaller and remove this part by holding the Option or Alt key while I paint it away. To remove the sky, I'll just click the Delete key. Then I'll go to File, Place and open up my replacement sky. I'll place it under the other layers and move it around until I like it. Oops, I forgot to deselect the sky. I can do that by pressing Command or Control D. Finally, it looks a little bright to me. So, I'll go back to the Adjustment button and select the Brightness and Contrast Adjustment. Let's play with the sliders until the sky looks about right with the rest of the scene. Well, that's it for today. If you like this kind of content, please hit those like and subscribe buttons below. It really brightens my day to know you care. Have a great day, everybody.